fellow poetry lovers and poetry curious. Today I'm going to read you two more poems in the best loved poems of the American people. Yep, two more poems in the section that is inspiration and then we are done with the section that is inspiration. Well, I better leave that there or I will forget. All right, The Common Road. This is by Silas H. Perkins. I want to travel the common road with a great crowd surging by, where there's many a laugh and many a load and many a smile and sigh. I want to be on the common way with its endless tramping feet, in the summer bright and the winter gray, in the noonday sun and heat, in the cool of an evening with the shadows nigh, at, at dawn when the <clears throat> Excuse me. At dawn when the sun breaks clear, I want the great crowd passing by to ken what they see and hear. I apologize if you can hear a dog snoring in the background. I want to be one of the common herd, not live in a sheltered way. Want to be thrilled, want to be stirred by the great crowd day by day. To glimpse the restless valleys deep, to toil up the, rug the rugged hill, to see the brooks which shyly, shyly creep, to have the torrents thrill. I want to laugh with the common man, wherever he chance to be. I want to aid him when I can, whenever there's need of me. I want to lend a helping hand over the rough and the steep, excuse me, over the rough and steep, to a child too young to understand, to comfort those who weep. I want to live and work and plan with a great crowd surging by to mingle with the common man, no better or worse than I. So again, this was a time in the 1930s, perhaps even the 20s, when this was being asserted. The, um, glory, you might speak. I mean, that's a United States thing. That's a democracy thing. Touting the the wonder of the common people as opposed to uh, people viewed as acceptable, ex exceptional or um, being removed from what is considered quote unquote common life. So next we are going to, I am going to, I don't know why I say we, I use the royal we. I'm going to read The Bridge Builder by Will Allen Dromgul. <coughs> uh -oh. Tickle in the throat. <coughs> and a bit of a wheeze that doesn't belong there. I'm not feeling wheezy. I'm not, I'm not feeling bad, so any bad, any worse than I normally do. The Bridge Builder, yes, Will Allen Dromgool. An old man, going a lone highway, came at the evening, cold and gray, to a chasm vast and deep and wide, through which was flowing a sullen tide. The old man crossed in the twilight dim, that sullen stream had no fears for him. But he turned when he reached the other side and built a bridge to span the tide. Old man, with, said a fellow, uh, old man, said a fellow pilgrim near. You are wasting strength in building here. Your journey will end with the ending day. You never again must pass this way. You have crossed the, the chasm deep and wide. Why build you the bridge at the eventide? The builder lifted his old gray head. Good friend, in the path I have come, he said, there followeth after me today a youth whose feet must pass this way, this chasm that has been not to me, to that fair-haired youth may a pitfall be. He too must cross in the twilight dim. Good friend, I am building the bridge for him. And I love that poem, and I love that that attitude, um, sometimes expressed these days by paying somebody else's toll behind you. <laughs> and 
in many other ways, and in many other ways. But it also is not expressed frequently these days, and probably wasn't back then either, which is why somebody felt the need to write a poem <laughs> encouraging people to think this way. Um, most notably during the pandemic when many people didn't seem to get the idea that you're wearing a mask to protect other people, not just yourself. <laughs> but I will end my diatribe there. Um, so there we are. The end of our inspiration section in this book. What's our next section, I'm wondering? It takes a while to get there, and it is poems that tell a story. So probably I'll be doing these more one at a time because usually poems that t tell a story are a little longer. Oh my goodness, yes, and here we're going to run into Paul Revere's ride, and we're going to run into, I don't know if we're going to run into Poe, but we run into some a poem about Poe. So yeah, so Poems That Tell a Story is the next section that we're going to tackle in The Best Love Poems of the American People. See you then. Bye-bye.